Lovely people and welcome to vlog number three. We're actually coming from Thailand this time, uh, not Malaysia because we have hopped over to Thailand for a quick little um, time in the sun <laughs> with Claude's dad. I'm actually talking to you right now from Rupert's bed with this is Baby and this is Peter. Baby and Peter have now uh, traveled to many, many places. They're well traveled. Interestingly, Rupert was really into like animal figures for most of his life and then hit 18 months and suddenly it was all like Baby and Agnes who did not come on the trip because not everyone could come on the trip. Um, and he's very into like humanoid looking dolls now. Is humanoid the word? That sounds very strange, doesn't it? Thank you so much for all of the really lovely comments on our previous two vlogs, uh, especially about how very beautiful Ankari is, and, and the lovely birthday wishes, very much appreciated, because uh, the last vlog went out on my birthday, although the internet is, is a weird time, is a, is a timey-wimey thing, um, so it hasn't actually been my birthday yet. We're going to be celebrating my birthday with just a delightful beachside day, maybe a tiny little bit of shopping, who knows. But then for my birthday, um, we're actually, there's going to be a fire dance and a delightful buffet, which I'm very excited by because I do love a good buffet. Um, the resort has a number of different restaurants, which we can go, go and try different things, which is very exciting to me because Pan-Asian cuisine is, is my love. Create photo opportunities everywhere. Yeah. I'm not complaining. Well, we do. They're adorable. We do the same with Christmas. We put Christmas trees everywhere. No. <laughs> to this extent. That's so cute. That's not cute, that's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Jet set lifestyle. I love how we're focusing on the important things and not just like this ginormous shower. My god, it's amazing. Oh, they even give toothbrush and toothpaste. Oh, they really did not get the age of our child correct, but that's so sweet. Also, my god, look at these wardrobes. I would like these wardrobes, please. They're gorgeous. Now, into oh, we come through. So Plus you're the, the minibar. Mmm. Minibar. Hello. Wait, let me just... Which we can learn to make in one of the family activities. <gasps> Towel animals. This is a... Uh... Ooh, for privacy if we want it or not. Don't break it! <laughs> Rupert will like that, have it? Mommy! Rupert's fast asleep right now. In that buggy over there. Writing desk, where Jessica has time to sit and write her book. Uh, yeah, she's pressed through what she's doing. <sighs> the relaxing chair. Oh, you can do it in Western style. Oh. Eastern style. High style. Which is hilarious because we actually have these at home. So Rupert's got Eastern tiger shirts. And then outside. Oh yes. The big window. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
We have a, a garden room. Sunbathe when we can sunbathe. We can. You won't be sad about the fact that we can't sunbathe while he naps. Mm -hmm. My goodness. The beach. Oh, yes. And across there is the pool. Can we just beach? Pool. Guzzling down this coconut. We opened it out, it's completely full. They're like, would you like the first place to coconut water? And he's not stopped drinking. You did that, Ruru. You did it. Wow. Happy birthday. Oh, I know you want to get up because Baby and Peter are here. Oh, it's a birthday cake. <laughs> Oh. Mommy, we came in a room. It was like, I did it. I did it. They get all the credit. Oh. Clearly, mommy did the it. Credit. Oh, and then you just bashed it. <laughs> Happy birthday. I'm having an excellent birthday dinner. It is my favourite kind of food, a buffet of a variety of Asian delicacies. Pan Asian cuisine. What's not to love? Damn, there's meant to be a fire show. I mean, it's raining, so we're <laughs> we'll waiting for that one. <laughs> but in the meantime, we can eat and stuff our faces. Asian cuisine is is my love. They even have a tempanyaki, which is where the chef like cooks things in front of you in a fun way, um, which we shall see how Rupert feels about this. He is experiencing a lot of new things while we're over here, which is kind of the idea. Why we're here on this trip is for him to experience cultures that are part of his heritage, for him to experience things that that we know for him to like learn and grow and, and develop. And people say, well, why take a small child uh, traveling when they're not really going to remember it? But it's not about what he directly remembers from this moment right now. It's about building upon that so that when he tastes those flavors again, it's, oh, I remember that, I had that before. It's when he meets those family members again, it's, oh yeah, that's auntie and uncle from last time. I say auntie and uncle, he has so many aunties and uncles. Um, it's playing with his cousins now and taking photos of that, and then they can look back on it when they're in their 20s and be like, oh wow, that's our first photo together. And look how little we are and how much we've grown. Um, and it's just building all those, those stepping stones of memory into him and his rate of development and learning while we've been here has been exponential. He talks so much more now. Um, his movement is incredible. He does stairs. Like he did stairs for the first time by himself, walking up them, just holding the wall. Um, like, okay. <laughs> This is, this is a lot, this is new, <laughs> my goodness. Um, it's really beautiful to see. Uh, at the same time, it's a lot. It's a lot as parents uh, to, to be with a child very rapidly developing because uh, he's exhausted <laughs> from his brain 
learning new things, seeing new things, taking in all different languages all the time. Um, and he wants to be with us constantly. And we're like, well, we are with you constantly. But it has to be more. <laughs> We found another one. We're trying to work out whether it's an adults only pool. So there are only adults here. And it looks fancy. It does. And there's this like trendy beach bar down here. There are some children, but they're not in the pool. So um, we just walked through the gardens from the main pool, which was up that way. There are supposed to be more gardens though. The map doesn't actually give much away. Don't attempt to follow the map. We're some we're along here. Someone right now. vaguely drew this. That's the pool. Yeah, see it does go around. We've been given a vague idea of something. JW Garden. Uh -huh. But also, oh sorry, <laughs> managed to get ice cream for him. But it's dairy free sorbet, so yay. Um, but then she also ordered alongside this some condensed Massive. milk. Massive. It's not just condensed milk, <laughs> it's a Thai tea. It's like a tea turk, but Thai. Oh, don't want any more. So it's fried orange. Interesting for you. I went for some delicious noodles. We came here for a sunset dinner and uh, it started to track it down just as the sun set. This is, uh, this is Claudia's other massive salad of the day. It's actually meant to be a starter. I know, a big starter. But it's basically her lunch again. It's huge. Now you have to eat your main course after this, don't forget. Look at your starter. No. Whacking thing. Like it's Ooh. huge. Claudia would like to point out there's that none on the floor. Rupert has demolished this. There's none on the floor. He has actually eaten most of this. We didn't bring Jessica's oh, fancy pants uh, selfie stick, which lets a light onto your face because no, we, didn't. we decided a shadow of my arm across my face <laughs> was mm. just. Definitely more. I've got to be careful walking over a bridge. I know, I was walking over a bridge. You told me halfway across it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I did think it would be humorous if you fell in. But also, I love you and didn't want it to happen. Mm. So, I'm telling you now. We've been playing a game recently because Rupert mimics every single word that you say. Yeah. Um, but only the words that he thinks are interesting. So you have to hit upon a good one. But most of the words are quite interesting. Like, um... most words are interesting, yes. Uh, Don't know, like. He started it with the word uh, injection. Injection. Yeah. Which is yeah. intolerable. <laughs> intolerable. Intolerable. Oh, which is quite good. I'm very dark. I don't know if this is even worth doing. And my arm's like so weak from the gym. <laughs> oh, now I'm blocked out. 
I know. Well, invariably. We're just going to turn no, the camera around. Going for it. The camera's better this way, so. Well, undoubtedly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I dropped it. I dropped the bag there. That's a good punchline. You didn't repeat it. Oh, staring at the. The KC. Oh, yes, the uh, KC. Kids Club. I can't say the words. Because if you do, it's basically telling him that we're going. If you do, you'll get a face full of Rupert in your face. <laughs> a face full of Rupert in your face? Yes, well done, darling. I was just about to say that there are. Um, that there's a massive lizard as well. Yeah. Like, it's not even a lizard, it's like more like an alligator. It like came up to my sunbed whilst I was half dozing. And, like scared the living lights out of me. And then I was like, oh, excuse me, excuse me. So they're like, cool boy. And he came over, I was like, oh yeah, that's George. I was like, oh yeah, but George is about to get onto my son's bed and I don't think that's really okay. Uh, it was a little bit alarming. So now we're walking along these paths. So I'm really quite worried about coming across George again. Or like Rupert says, bats, because I hate bats. <laughs> we are, um... Oh wait. No, I haven't got my thumb over everything. Um, <laughs> We are now actually in the well-lit corridor, which is the way you're meant to walk back in the night time, so you don't come across bats and monitor lizards and turtle sanctuaries. And... Wear your jacket. I realised I'm filming this upside down. <laughs> so we're all alarmed because we can hear a noise. Really squeaky high-pitched noise. I thought we'd picked up some kind of rodent on the way. I was dying a slow, horrible death at the bottom of Rupert's buggy or something. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the road. I'm just laughing because I know what it is. It's her shoe. I mean, I don't know why we're trying to film in the dark again. Yeah, you want to be out your buggy, I know. Also, sorry, wiki feet. <laughs> your foot's got another Brian as well. <laughs> In all fairness to Rupert though, he, probably he's not the most exhausting part. Um, so this resort's really like designed to make you relax, but I <laughs> definitely arrived not feeling relaxed because we flew from KL to, um, to Phuket, which is the island that we're on in Thailand. And we flew with Air Asia, who, if you watched the Malaysia um, vlog series that we did last time we were out here, five years ago, which baffles me that it was that long ago. Um, and if you haven't, I will put it in the card above right here. But um, Air Asia are not the most accessible airline. They're not, they're not great. They're not very helpful. Last time um, we asked for special assistance, so like disability assistance, and because I was standing at the time of asking for it, they were very much like, why for her? No, what's wrong with you? Why would we do that? She's standing, she doesn't need it. I was like, okay. And they basically made me recite everything that was wrong with me so that they could judge whether I was deserving of it or not, which, um, Firstly, not the way assistance, special assistance works because, <laughs> okay. I, <laughs> you know, invisible disabilities are a thing. Um, and the large majority of, of wheelchair users uh, can stand to some degree, but that's not, that's not the point. Um, and just the, yeah, just the, the disrespect was, was pretty painful, pretty painful. Um, so this time, when we flew with them, we also found that there wasn't, there's not an option to easily click like assistance, assistance required. And there isn't the Singapore Airlines either. I think Claudia had to e email them, like send various forms in, but with AirAsia there also wasn't that option. <laughs> There just doesn't seem to be a way to tell them that you need help. And we were like, well, it's fine. It's okay because we've got the baby, the baby, Rupert. And often with special assistance or with having a small child, you can get to board the plane first and you can, you go through a shorter line at the uh, bag check 
skin area anyway so it should be okay we, we tend to go through the same same areas like you go through security through the same line it'll be fine that we haven't been able to get special assistance we'll just continue through and then <laughs> we hit thailand oh and, and air asia actually flies from its own terminal which is really small and that was quite easy to to navigate around you're like yeah this is fine this is good perfect we've we've walked here it's good we have quad's dad with us who is also like 75 so there's an elderly man a disabled woman and a toddler we've got the trifecta We'd, we've got it um if there's anyone who's going to struggle to walk long distances or sit stand for a long time it's us. We got on the plane, we landed in Thailand. Ah, now if you've been to Thailand before, you probably have experienced the Thailand passport queue, which surely we experienced last time. Although I don't remember doing so. I think because we did press for special assistance last time. This time um, we ended up standing in this queue for what an hour an hour and a half an hour apparently it felt like half a day it was intense very intense poor rupert he bless his soul was an angel <laughs> he was like okay cool huh they also don't return your buggy to you before this passport queue so we all had to stand in a queue for an hour and we had our one wheelie hand luggage case, which uh, we were like, mm, Rupert, <laughs> would you like to sit on this and we'll push it for a bit? Hello. Oh, hello. I have just had a shower. She has. If you're wondering where Rupert is, he's having a nap in my granddad's room. My granddad, my dad's room. I keep referring to him granddad. He was, I wonder if that annoys dad or not. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> he doesn't have a name anymore. Yeah. He's just he's granddad. Just granddad. <sighs> Yeah, Maybe so a bit of an it. oversight on my part to not request the special assistance this time, but I just kind of thought, oh, it's a short flight, the terminal's small. Forgetting that it actually is an international flight still, and Thailand border control was, like, quite strict and, like, yeah. But anyway. It was bad. So poor Jessica, it took, like, about a good 36 <sighs> hours, if not 48 hours, to kind of feel a bit more human recovered, even though we're in the, like, most beautiful, stunning dreamy like lush know, hotel location like, i got so like please. annoyed that she wasn't relaxed and, <laughs> and, and like serene enough that i basically like started tell it, like scolding her for not being relaxed and she was like that is not going to help me feel relaxed that's not relaxing and i was like well if you it's can't if you don't relax i can't relax if you're not happy i'm not happy so i was getting all stressed about it because i yeah. was like because when we first got here i was like i feel so relaxed it's so yeah, lovely I'm like, to be it. fair we walked in and there was like a, be a thai lady dressed in beautiful yeah. traditional clothes playing traditional instruments it was so nice over this so like magical. what my dad calls the pond i mean <laughs> i don't know what else you call it but it's like this it's big an infinity it's like a water lake Ooh, that you can't swim in i mean pond did, is a discredit to it it's very nice <laughs> and then as the sun sets like it reflects in it it's stunning the sun sets on it yeah and then that evening there was like this ritual welcome like with these two men Tons. drumming this woman in traditional thai gear doing like kind of like some like we had slightly... photos with her yeah and then like these fire throwers it was great yeah but yeah i think we're feeling a bit more relaxed now yes yes and um we haven't yet managed to have a massage no there's lots of little like stalls set up on the beach with like traditional thai masseuse yeah. um where it's like 10 quid an hour but at the time that we actually went yesterday when we managed to get rupert down for a nap and dad looked after him again yeah. like they were like oh no come back in half an hour it's busy times so we're like okay walk to the other stretch of like walked along the beach to the other person who was like you want a massage and we're like no no we're waiting we have the side said that we'll go back so we shouldn't let them down kind of thing walked back and they had like and they were like oh yeah sit down wait a bit just a couple minutes 10 minutes later uh, how much longer oh another 10 minutes and then like they basically accepted like basically i don't know what happened but we'd lost our spot i think it's first come first served we were just like not we were probably like 32 minutes anyway i was very it annoyed my serenity this is such a first world problem i just wanted to get my feet rubbed and also, it was quite funny actually we sat there so many tourists were coming along going uh yeah i want an hour massage please and i'm like oh you have to wait what how long they're like half an hour it's like oh well, we've got to go out and people get so angry and so like, angry i'm like these ladies have jobs 
they're busy. Also, it's like you literally just want to sit and have your feet or your back rubbed, and you're getting now annoyed about not being able to get you. These ladies are working hard all day long rubbing people's feet. Like, so then I felt really bad, and I was like, actually, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna feel relaxed with someone rubbing my feet right now because I feel bad for like that they're all like working off the like you know it's just it's just ruined the moment and I don't want it now so we just left and um yeah but yeah I went to the gym this morning mm. you took Rupert to this kids club oh, there's been a lot of kids club well you've gone twice <laughs> there's a lot of talk about kids club oh my god Rupert started doing this thing where he knows you're holding him like you know like if you're like holding Are him you on gonna your side Rupert? yeah okay he's holding him on his side and then suddenly you just like go okay so Rupert what we're so gonna do today we're going to breakfast now darling okay and then afterwards we're going to go to kids club kids club <laughs> that was not an accurate impression of his voice <laughs> what's that <laughs> I don't know but it's more the action he literally comes around okay. makes sure his face is like directly in front of your face and goes kids club kids so club. is this like a coda thing as well <laughs> if anyone else if you have a deaf parent or you are deaf and have a child let me know does your child do this do they just go that's true <laughs> hello parent and maybe that's why but he was doing it to me too but that's know. because i'm often away and the fairies are not listening to him but yeah he signs to granddad and granddad's like what what's this <laughs> Anyway, that's also What's not a fair say? representation of my father. <laughs> Is it not? No. Right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go walk around the grounds, maybe yeah. get some photos, have a little bit of Jesse and Claude time. Visit a temple. Visit a temple. There are temples. Yeah, the, grounds, the, gardens. the grounds are very, very beautiful. Yeah. Just have some time without a child. That's why your dad's here. <laughs> Yeah, maximise on the uh, childcare. <laughs> but he only babysits when Rupert's asleep. I basically push him around in the buggy until he's fallen asleep, <laughs> then take the buggy round to my dad's room, which is aircon, so my dad reads his book because <laughs> Rupert just lies asleep in the buggy. And then when as soon as Rupert wakes up, Dad just like pushes the buggy <laughs> the buggy back to us. I remember a chance like He's like, well, Um Granddad. This is not right. <laughs> anyway, I'm covered in bites. Rupert's got a bite on his eyelid. <laughs> I mean, that's We've the price been trying to spray him. It's the price you pay for. He's got those cool stain. mosquito Paradise. stickers. I'm oh, just talking over me. Sorry. Mm-hmm. You can talk about your mosquito stickers if you want, but we need to go and get photos. We're gone. Hello. Wobble. So today, both now, as you can see, in paradise. With my brain being tragically ravished by a migraine. Very sad, sad stuff. Just had a nice lie down for an hour, taken some medication, hoped it would go away. It's not really gone away, but now it has changed over time um, in the parenting. Change over time in the, the parenting. I don't know what the word is. The, who is looking after Rupert? Um, I've got to go and save Claudia from Kids Club. And Rupert only leaves Kids Club if you uh, give him the end point of your other parent is coming. That's when we leave. So I now have to arrive and then he will go. So I'm arriving, he is leaving. It. We got him out of the kids' club. We are now by the pool. Fortunately, my migraines are not reactive to light, which is very handy. Uh, still feeling a bit rubbish, but I do have my, my trusty caffeine to keep me going. Sadly, this resort does not have deal with Coke. So this is Pepsi Max I'm drinking, but I'll let you in the secret. Interestingly, uh, Southeast Asia cannot find Diet Coke. Can't find Diet Pepsi either. So my choices are Coke Zero or Pepsi Max, and Pepsi Max is superior? No one expected this. No one expected it. Didn't see it coming. 
another drink we should probably talk about. Um, this is Seven Up Sugar Free. That's sugar free with fiber. Does it in English? I also don't worry. I can't actually read Thai. I've not developed that skill suddenly in the last few days. With fiber, unclear as to how that works. I've yet to discover. Still tastes the same. What is this fiber? Looks the same when poured into a glass. This bird stole with this biscuit while I was talking to you. I was supposed to be watching the biscuits while he's in the pool. Um, we're all going to pretend this didn't happen and there were never any biscuits. Okay? There were no biscuits to begin with. It's fine. An update on the biscuit situation. He never found out. It was fine. And he's now down for a nap, so Claudia and I have gone for a sushi lunch date. This is very exciting, and the first time we've actually done a date, a date, date, on this whole trip. Hello. <laughs> She's just chilling on her phone. Hi. Sorry, I was watching What's you. I went down the slide for it. I'm like, mommy, 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 First time was fine. Second time we did it. For some reason, I like completely was fine, and then stumbled and fell in. Like, and then like dropped Rupert, who went like underneath the water into his hands. And then like, I was like, oh, Jessica got it all on video, obviously. So I just watched it. It was a bit unfortunate, yes. He was all right. He was fine, fine. He went on it again afterwards, did he? Yeah, he actually did go on the slide again. He was then like, no, mum was taking me on the slide, actually. And then I took him on the slide. I wasn't great at it either. And then he was like, no more slide, no, no. No more, food, no more food. Here is our beautiful sushi boat. Oh, so excited for this. And to show you my lovely wife. You look nice. You look nice every day to me. Gorgeous. Yeah, you, think, you think in a relaxing place like this you'd have like time to <laughs> use all these nice facilities and use all their products in quite day, Jane. Uh, you have time to like run around the room five times after your child is slapping his back with some kind of sun cream. And then you like run out the house with like one shoe. <laughs> and then you sit on your sunbed for like two seconds. Like, oh. There's only so much. And then you gotta reapply the sun cream. Rupa do, Rupa do, we can take. Oh. I'm getting all emotional and I have no idea who these couple are. It's more interesting than ping pong. Just love weddings. You like those glasses, huh? You like them. You're like a mini Elton John. Bye bye, Grandad. <laughs> well, we are passing his room. Yeah. To be fair. He's gone to bed, hasn't he? Tonelin and chicken soup, or what I used to call gong gong soup. My mum would make it, and her dad made it. So my granddad's soup. It was like a nice home cup of it. Helping Rupert get the last bit of his half boiled egg. His favourite breakfast now is like soft, runny egg. It's literally called a half boiled egg, and it really means it. The softest boiled egg you're ever going to find. I've gone for a mixture of fried egg, bacon, sausages, Chinese soup, and then noodles and dim sum. It's just going to make up my mind.
Thought about getting a ruby to replace the missing one. So we decided to go for a sapphire instead and make something new. And then I'll recycle it back. Okay, okay. This is very intense. Just made a quick stop at a temple on our way back. Temple Bear. changed uh, we just spent a very long time getting you a bit down for a nap I was so tired that I was like I'm going down for a nap and just because I, I will push him around in the buggy I was like, okay. thinking he was gonna fall asleep within like five ten minutes no absolutely not but then you came back like 25 minutes later and he had like done a poo so fair enough that's why he couldn't go to sleep anyway then I went and pushed him around and fell asleep within like 10 minutes so he's currently sleeping it was the poo's fault yeah we sat outside, the sun is setting. Yes, it's beautiful. Everything is beautiful. We'd like to announce that it was a success. Our trip. We've well, done it. They did sell individual gems, mm -hmm. but the guy was like, you'd have to like, you can't reset it. You'd have to like remake the whole mm -hmm. ring. And obviously you can't, we don't have time for that. <laughs> no. Claudia's original engagement ring, which I gave you back in 2014. 2014. <laughs> I do know, I do know. Uh, 2014 um, is an antique Victorian ring and it is uh, created in such a way that they no longer create rings. Yeah, like and the clasps that. were rubbish. Like, literally, it looks like the diamonds and are rubbish. That's very harsh. Rubbish. It's just that they made rings differently back then. Anyway, God. Well, we've got another ring. So, yes. A new ring. Yes, so we've got a new ring. Claudia really likes it. Thank you. Let's put it on. Oh, it's very pretty. Yeah, it's got this nice... Um, it's a lovely ruby. It's got these lovely... Filigree. Yeah. Oh, it's done. Mm. Anyone who's watching is going to think, oh, look, that couple's just got engaged. Mm. No. Again. <laughs> Again. It's really beautiful. Very you. They resized it for me, like there. It took about half an hour to mm -hmm, resize it, didn't mm -hmm. it? I just needed it like one and a half sizes smaller. Yeah. And look where we are. Look at this. Oh gosh. Hello. Isn't it beautiful? It is. It's a gorgeous sunset. Let's get our heads out of the way. Thank <laughs> you.